Incredibly disturbing video. That's from inside a witness's home during last night's shooting rampage. Residents in parts of Moncton continue to be ordered to stay indoors this hour as the gunman remains on the loose. The suspect is this 24 year old Justin Bork. How is the community dealing with this tragedy? We're, we've heard from the mayor of Moncton just before the break. Let's bring in the um, parliamentary secretary to the Minister of Justice, R Robert or Robert Gauguin. He's the MP also for Moncton. Thanks for joining me, Mr. Gauguin. You're welcome. Uh, Thank you. Your reaction this is your home. Uh, can you tell us uh, your reaction when you heard the news? Uh, shock, disbelief, and ultimately uh, a great amount of grief. I mean, uh, it, this is incomprehensible. Uh, Moncton's a very, very peaceful place, and this is a sad reminder that uh, bad things can happen in any community, large communities, small communities. And obviously, I mean, our hearts and, and prayers go out to the members of the fallen uh, officers, and of course, uh, with the hope that those who are injured will recover promptly. But uh, this is truly troubling. You know, the police are often called the police, but they're also peace officers. And in the vast majority of the time in Greater Moncton, that's exactly what they do. They maintain the peace. And they're the buffer between the bad guys and the law-abiding citizens. In this case, uh, they've paid the ultimate sacrifice. They've laid down their lives uh, to maintain the peace. Uh, the other thing that's particularly troubling is that, you know, tomorrow is the 70th anniversary of D-Day where another generation of young people laid down their lives so that we have the freedoms that these police officers, the peace that they protect, you know, that we benefit of. There's nobody generally shooting at us in Greater Moncton when they go to a market or they're walking on the street. And here we are with three deaths and, uh, you know, a madman on, on the run with a, with a, with a high-powered rifle. And still on the run, and still at large, still armed and dangerous. Uh, look, this, uh, you know, people who have been to Moncton, as I have, it's a fairly small city. The RCMP detachment is just 145 officers for all of Greater Moncton. Officers are, as you say, they're members of the community. Uh, are, you, are you hearing anything from the members of the Kodiak detachment? Well, quite frankly, Evan, right now they've got all their efforts focused on, on bringing this uh, fugitive into the hands of justice to face the full brunt of the law. And... Uh, you know, as much as you like to make small talk and give them a hug, and yes, they deserve it every bit, I mean, these are very well-trained, highly skilled individuals who are going heart and soul at bringing this uh, to a successful conclusion. So there hasn't been much time for the, the pleasantries of saying, you know, I'm so sorry. Uh, these officers are hard at work, and they will succeed. You've heard the expression a million times, the RSNP always gets his or her man. Uh, this will come to a conclusion. Do, do we know uh, what kind of equipment the, uh, the detachment had there? Uh, you know, after Mayor Thorpe in 2005, when four RCMP officers were killed, the RCMP started to purchase hard body armor, uh, high-powered guns for frontline RCMP officers. Uh, d do you know anything about, as the Minister of Justice, uh, the Parliamentary Secretary, uh, will, will the government be looking in to see if there's, there's more that can be done to prevent the targeting of Mounties? Well, I've seen on the film the same as you have, and definitely there is the armored equipment. I know that they have the, the choppers here. I know there's the fixed wing, which have the, uh, the infrared lights. They have the dogs. They have the emergency response teams. But uh, there's no amount of equipment, and certainly we do our best to make sure that our men have the best equipment that can guard against unexpected uh, acts like this from people who they term to have the Rambo syndrome, frightening as that might seem. Right, obviously we referring to that, that well-known film about a guy. Now, now, can Ottawa, will Ottawa offer any support to Moncton? I believe all support available and requests will be made readily available. Uh, th this is a very troubling event, uh, one that has to come to an abrupt end as quickly as possible. And my firm conviction is that all, all resources required will be allocated. Do you know anything about the shooter? Or the alleged shooter? Very, very, very little, Evan. I, I know what's what's been over the air. I, I know, for instance, that uh, he's 24 years old, uh, that he only became a Facebook subscriber in February, uh, that he posted uh, a song from, uh, was it Megadeth, uh, that was rather disturbing about a small man with a big eraser, and this was just briefly before he went on this shooting rampage. So, you know, all indications is this is a troubled soul with, with some sort of twisted mission, and uh, we've got to bring the mission to an end. All right, uh, I got to leave it there. Uh, Robert Gauguin, who is, of course, the MP from Moncton, who back back in your hometown, 
uh, and I'm sure for you this is going to be a very long and difficult uh, period ahead. But, of course, the critical moment, when will the suspect get caught? Thank you, sir. You're so welcome.